My question has to do with a permit application for a threatened and endangered species permit. According to the main application on the website, there's a population of state threatened orchid on that property, and the tailings facility is proposed to be right on top of that. So I'd like to know what the status is of that permit application and whether any consideration was given to a different location for the facility so that that, which appears to be the only population in this county, so that those plants would not be destroyed. There were a number of alternatives suggested for uh, proximity of the tailings basin. I don't know necessarily to avoid impact of the orchid, but there were a number of, of, uh, of locations that were uh, that were cited. It appears the one that was chosen will impact uh, that state's record. Uh, Orvana will be required to obtain a permit from the Wildlife Division, actually, of the Department of Natural Resources before they can uh, impact that orchid. And they will need to propose how they are either going to protect uh, that habitat and that orchid. Uh, and I'm not going to propose as to what that alternative might be. It's been suggested moving it, but of course, if you move it to a habitat that it's not suited for, it won't thrive. So it would have to be located to an area. It's where it is because. It's an ideal uh, and a very unique habitat. That's why it's that's why it's threatened. If it grew everywhere, it wouldn't be threatened. Right. Does Michigan Natural Features Inventory have any input to that permit review? The, the or is it strictly the, the inventory is a database to keep track of those records, but that is I mean the staff uh, administered by the wildlife division of DNR. So okay. we do a review of it, kind of like on their behalf. And when we see that there could be or will be an impact to a threatened or endangered plant or animal. We make Wildlife Division aware of that, and we make the applicant aware of that, and they need to go to Wildlife Division for that permit to impact that, or to show how they won't impact that species. Okay, there you. also is a state-threatened uh, minnow that, um, that has been identified, and they have identified uh, ways that they will avoid any impact to that state-threatened minnow. Uh, thank you. Next question. Hello, please explain to me how the DEQ came up with the conclusion that not backfilling the tailings is feasible and prudent. What criteria did you use? Thank you. We haven't made that conclusion yet. Uh, this is the review process. In the wetlands process, we do need to look at all of the alternatives presented uh, and weigh that against the impact to the wetlands. So that review has not been completed. The wetland and stream application is simply that right now. It's an application under public review. We have not drafted a permit. That's quite different than some of the other divisions which, which draft uh, a, a permit and then take public input on it with the understanding that that's not a done deal. But we don't even draft uh, any permit until such time as we've gathered all of the information. Uh, and this is part of that process. And, and this is why we need more time both for people to public, uh, publicly comment uh, in writing following tonight's meeting, and then the additional time it'll take us to review all of that comment, gather all that information. Um, but uh, do not assume we've made uh, the decision yet uh, on any of, the, uh, you know, any of the proposals in that application. Thank you. Once a decision is made on what process is to be used in any of uh, what's being discussed, is there going to be time for further comment to why that particular uh, application should not be used? There, there are several different uh, permits represented here. Right. The, the, the Part 30103, Wetlands, Inland Lakes, and Streams Permit. This is a public comment period, and it, it ends on July 8th, I believe. So you can comment here and then in writing until July 8th. Then we consider all that information and make a decision. That's the wetlands. Right. For the, and what about the discharge? The wastewater permit. Uh, the wastewater, there'll be a 30-day public comment period coming up in the future. <laughs> 